In this exercise, I'm going to show you how to create a chimney cube with the supervised neural network approach. Um, so uh, the first step uh, in open text, you need to click on the attribute engine or the edit attribute and uh, select the 3D. And here you need to click on the open default attribute set and look for the uh, chimney workflow attribute set. And it is here. So I'm going to have that hit OK. And in this new window, we need to provide basically two inputs. The first input is the seismic volume. The second input is the steering cube. And in this case, we'll be using the um, the BCA. Okay. Uh, so you can see here we have a list of attributes. Uh, so basically, uh, these attributes, uh, or most of them, should help us to um, differentiate um, or help the neural network to differentiate between the chimney or the real chimney and uh, the background noise. So we can uh, go ahead and, and close that. Uh, to access the, uh, or before that actually, we need to um, do some uh, visual inspection uh, where we see uh, uh, some vertical noise where um, we can uh, do our VIX. Uh, So from a uh, previous uh, visual inspection for this uh, particular data set, we know that the, the inline uh, 691, there is some uh, vertical um, noise and uh, we suspect that's uh, caused by the, uh, the chimney presence. So as you can see here, uh, the first thing, let me, let me change just the uh, color here. The seismic so if I zoom you can see there is some uh, vertical disturbance or, 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 or noise that most li most likely related to the uh, gas chimney so what we need to do now is to make some picks uh, that represents the the where we think the chimney is but also we need to add another uh, picks where we tell the neural network that there is no chimney uh, to do that in Open Detect, uh, you need to right click on the point set here, click New, uh, select Empty. And here, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do this chimney is, so I can give it the, um, the green color. And I'm going to call that chimney. Yes. And uh, once it is in the project tree, I can see the mouse turn to uh, cross. So this allows me to make uh, my picks on the seismic uh, section. So wherever I see the noise, I can add some uh, picks here. So also I see some noise here. Um, if the picks are not clear, so basically you can change uh, their font uh, just by uh, um, right click and check the property of the big set. Yeah, always make sure that you had a de some uh, decent number of, of the chimney so that they represent um, the problem that uh, you need the new network to solve. Uh, once I, I finish with this, um, make sure that you save it. And now we're going to do the same thing uh, with the chimney node. So we need to tell the neural network um, how the seismic look like when there is no um, uh, chimney. So I'm going to call it a chimney. No. That. And uh, let's do a red color, for example. Yeah, now I can go ahead and, and add some piece. So wherever I see uh, no chimney, 
uh, just add some uh, picks. Uh, one of the things that you need to make sure of is that the number of picks you make for the guest chimney uh, needs to be uh, similar to the, uh, um, the chimney now. Now I can go ahead and uh, save this. So once this is saved, and of course I can do this uh, with other um, uh, inlines and crosslines. Uh, now what I need to do is to um, access the uh, new network and uh, with the 6.6 .6, uh, the new network is part of the our new machine learning plugin. So in the machine learning control center uh, select the new network highlight the new network 3D and click go. And here, uh, in the new or network manager 3D, we are going to select the pattern recognition using the pattern set. Like that. Uh, in the design new network window, as mentioned before, uh, this exercise basically we are using the um, the supervised approach. So in the analysis method, make sure you select the supervisor and uh, the input training data set is extract now um, in the or under the select uh, input attribute you can see that all the attributes are selected uh, so one thing that we need to make sure of is that the attributes that are not relevant to the new network needs to be deselected from this uh, list here like that and I think that's uh, yeah there's another one here uh, so the next step is to basically select the uh, the chimney yes the chimney no the the uh, the nodes that we created and also put a percentage of the um, the data set that the new network are going to use and after that just hit okay Uh, as you can see now, um, we have a spreadsheet um, of some statistic uh, popped up and you can uh, basically uh, further analyze uh, and cross plot um, uh, these attributes against the, uh, the chimney yes and uh, uh, chimney no. Uh, and once, once you're done with your uh, investigation, um, just click uh, run here. And this will start actually the training of the neural network. As you can see here, the normalized RMS and the misclassification uh, curves will start uh, decreasing. And in order to avoid overtraining, we need to hit OK. And also, you see the, the colors of these uh, some attributes. The dark colors or the red represents the importance of these uh, these attributes to this uh, training. So once these two curves um, like uh, level it up, we can go ahead and hit uh, OK. Uh, so in the in your network uh, manager 3D, uh, basically you have uh, the option to to store the uh, um, the neural network uh, into a disk, um, uh, but also you may wait uh, till you uh, check if the results uh, look good or not. Uh, now we can go ahead and uh, um, close this window and do uh, right click here and click on add attribute and on the new network click the uh, chimney uh, yes yeah um in order to see the uh, results uh, better uh, we need to select the uh, And uh, as you can see, here's the uh, the results of the uh, the chimney or the neural network training. And, and if you are satisfied with the results, um, so you can uh, compute the chimney cube from the processing attributes, single attributes, um, select 3D, and the quantity to output in this case is the chimney is, and you can give this a name. You can call.
tuna cube and you can go ahead and uh, hit run.